Bienvenidos. Welcome to Spanish with Liliana. Today we're going to talk about syllables. In Spanish, they're called sílabas. This will help you understand how the words are pronounced. In Spanish, all letters are pronounced with a few exceptions. The silent letter in Spanish is the letter H. For example, hombre. Hombre. Huevo. Huevo. Buo. Buo. The H doesn't make a sound. It's just the vowel sound. There are situations where the U is also silent. And letras silenciosas mean silent letters. When there's the Q-U-E combination, as in queso, queso, the U doesn't sound. Or we also have the Q-U-I combination, as in quien, quien. And then we have the G-U-E combination, as in guerra, guerra. Or the G-U-I combination, as in águila, águila. When you have these combinations, the U doesn't make a sound. Other than these exceptions, everything else is pronounced. Hay dos tipos de sílabas. There are two types of syllables. Open syllables end in a vowel. And closed syllables end in a consonant. Spanish tends to prefer the open syllable structure. So we'll focus a lot on the exceptions today. ¿Ya conoces las vocales? Do you know the vowels? It's important to understand the vowels as they are the center of the syllables. You probably already know that the vowels are A, E, I, O, U. A, E, and O are considered strong vowels. And I and U are considered weak vowels. This is important because the way the vowels are paired together dictates if they're within the same syllable or separate. For example, Two strong vowels together make two different syllables. Leer has two letter E's. And because the E is a strong vowel, this is going to have two syllables. Leer. Leer. A strong vowel next to a weak vowel in any order makes a diphthong. So they are part of the same syllable. For example, aire, aire. And this is how the syllables are broken down. A, I are together because A is strong, I is weak. And then we have the second syllable, which is or E. But you still pronounce all of the letters. With the A, I, it's just a little bit quicker. Aire. Two weak vowels together are also part of the same syllable. For example, ciudad, ciudad. We have IU together, so they're going to stay with the same syllable. And it's also a quick pronunciation, ciudad. In Spanish, there's such a thing as a triptong, and it is made by one strong vowel between two weak vowels. And so they stay part of the same syllable. We have, for example, the word buey, buey, and it's actually just one syllable because the letter Y is treated like the I. There's one big exception to all of this. When there's an accent mark on a weak vowel, it becomes a strong vowel. For example, país, país. We have the letter A and it's a strong vowel. And then we have the letter I, and it's a weak vowel, but it has the accent. So that's going to turn it into a strong vowel, and it's going to create its own syllable. Pa is. We will look at accent marks in a different class, but it's important to note this exception. Once the weak vowel turns into a strong vowel, all of the previous rules apply. There are words with one syllable, like yo, and there are words with two or more syllables. Some examples are amor, amor, he has two syllables, casa, casa, it's two syllables as well, tomate, tomate.
imagínate, it's three syllables. Persona. Persona. It's also three syllables. And we'll take a look in a minute at how they are formed. Amanecer. Amanecer. It has four syllables. Llévatelo. Llévatelo. It's also four syllables. And then we have reconciliarse. Reconciliarse. This word has five syllables. Generally speaking, a syllable can be a vowel, a consonant and a vowel, or two consonants and a vowel. A consonant can't be a syllable on its own. After the first syllable, all other syllables start with a consonant, unless there's a prefix, such as in the word desorganizar. You can see that the first syllable is des, and then the next syllable is or, because that's how the base word starts with. Let's take a look at which letters go with what and some rules. The most common structure is the consonant plus vowel structure, where we have casa, Casa, it has two syllables. Rosa, Rosa, the same structure, so we have consonant plus vowel. Mesa, Mesa, and the last one is Lapis, Lapis. On this one we see consonant plus vowel and then we have consonant, vowel, consonant. We also have a structure when we have two consonants and when they occur together, one letter belongs to one syllable and the other belongs to the next syllable, as in these examples. Accidente. Accidente. You can see the letter C is divided. One goes with the letter A and one goes with the letter I. We also have inmediato. Inmediato. The N stays with the letter I. The M goes with the letter E. For inmediato, we also see a weak vowel I with a strong vowel A, so they are going to stay within the same syllable. The next word is obtener. Obtener. The B is going to stay with the letter O, and then the T is going to stay with the letter E. And the last one is cuenta. Cuenta. And the first syllable is long because we have the weak vowel U and the strong vowel E, so they're going to stay together. But of course, there are some exceptions. Whenever you see these consonant groups together, they stay together, they can't be divided. So when you have words with BL, BOR, CL, CR, DOR, FL, FOR, GL, GOR, PL, PR, and TR, all of those combinations or one together. Some examples are blanco, blanco. We have the first syllable. It only has one vowel, so they have to stay together. B, L, A, N, blan. And then we have C, O, co. Cuadro, cuadro. Here we have the weak vowel U together with the strong vowel A. So those are going to stay together and then the rest is a second syllable. The or stays together. Libro. Libro. We see again here that the BR is going to stay together. The last one is tres. Tres. And this one is actually one syllable. It only has one vowel, so it's going to stay as one. The final exception on this topic are the letters EJ and R. Whenever you have the two L's and the two O's, they're going to be treated as a single letter and they're also not going to be divided. Here are a few examples. Perro, perro. The two ors are going to stay together. Ballena, ballena. The two L's are going to stay together. Llamada, llamada. Tierra, tierra. So again here, the two ors stay together. 
we also see the weak vowel I and the strong vowel E and they stay together on the first syllable. I spent time building a Spanish reading course to help you learn how to read in Spanish. And it's really easy and it's in a short amount of time. It's just 30 days. Take advantage of that. It's free. It's in the channel. The link is on the description. That will help you understand all of these exceptions and syllable topics so that you know how to read in Spanish. Thanks for watching until the end. See you next time.